So this is Recycling in the U.S. by me, Matthew Havisak, Gabriel Donna, Asher Martin, and Hetty Churchill. So the National Sword Cup Policy. Beginning January 1st of 2018, China enacted the National Sword Policy, banning all foreign waste imports. Before this, in 2016, according to National Geographic, China imported about 10,225 million of metric tons of waste, causing major environmental concerns and therefore prompting the ban. However, with this halt on waste imports to China, the world's largest contributor to waste management, the rest of the world now has to find new ways to handle this huge upsurge of waste. Furthermore, some of these solutions are causing more problems than they are solving. According to Ivan Watson at CNN, the move caused a ripple effect through global supply chains as middlemen sought new destinations for tons of plastic waste, Malaysia being one of the main destinations. Amy Brooks also says that already we've been seeing evidence in the past years of the accumulation of plastic waste in countries that are dependent on, on export, one of the main ones being the US. And finally, uh, Cheryl Katz believes that the recycling crisis triggered by China's ban could have an upside, experts say, if it leads to better solutions for managing the world's waste. Uh, therefore, leading to the first, one of our first solutions uh, for the problem here in America of how we are going to cope with not being able to export all of our waste to China. Our first solution is a nationwide ban on single-use plastic bags. The California government states that on November 8, 2016, California voters approved Petition 67, a statewide ban on single-use carry-out plastic bags. As a result, and this ban, stores, businesses, and other, other buildings will not, no longer be able to provide single-use plastic bags. Some pros of this solution, according to Oregon, Oregon's government, is that it gives local governments flexibility in order to implement material management programs and reach voluntary material recovery goals. Other pros are that plastics being replaced by multi-use cloth bags is more eco-friendly. Plastics pollute the environment and can take up to a thousand years to decompose. This, therefore, can cause clogging of sewage, drains, and other piping in the, pipings around the city. This ban will also enhance the economy. This will lead to an uprising in production of textile cloths and lead to increased employment opportunities some limitations of this is that many of the big producers have lobbyists in Congress who will not allow for one of these bans to be passed at a national level. It is also up to the local uh, states. As you can see from this graph, a lot of states are against, are against these bans, so it will take a while for all states to be on board. The impact on jobs could be huge. According to National Geographic, a ban can wipe out an entire manufacturer's business. This, therefore, causing them to shut down and leave many people jobless. The convenience of stores is also removed by making customers bring their own bags. So implications are that with this ban, you will not see as many plastic bags hanging around the beaches, highways, and other places in your cities. Also, sewage and pipes will be less clogged and the environment will be cleaner because of the reduction of the burned plastic, because now, Half of the plastic recycled goes to landfills to be burned. <clears throat> so our second solution would be to educate the consumers. Many people are still unaware about, uh, about the things that they recycle and the effects of recycling. Most communities participate in some sort of recycling program. Some, some include curbside recycling and drop-off recycling centers and etc. Some cities like New York City, New York, Springfield, and Seattle have issued recycling mandates for the residents. However, the, uh, however, this was extremely difficult to enforce and there was not much compliance. And uh, mandatory participation for these for these mandates uh, was basically the same as the voluntary participation for recycling programs. So some pros to this solution uh, would, be, would be that it spreads awareness to a rising issue at hand and increases levels of participation within communities. Also allows for effect, more effective management of recycling goods and sorting. Um, some, so some cons to this solution would be the term of ecophobia, which is uh, fear of one's own. So important when educating, educating consumers is that
that when when educating them, uh, it, they shouldn't lead to causing ecophobia within consumers. So that some results of ecophobia would be dissociate, dissociation of, of the natural world and lack of action. It's also important to factor factor in a person's scale of what they are able to do, what they are able to do uh, for the and solve for this issue. So another con is that uh, it, info alone is not won't always change people's behavior. Action is necessary to, for others to participate in the in recycling program. So some implications, to, I mean, limitations to this is that there's still much, much, there's much still unknown about recycling, and there's only so much that the government can do to teach citizens about recycling. Another limitation is that it would take a long time for the government to implement, implement education to the consumers, and not many people would always understand the problems and dangers of recycling. So some implications of this solution, uh, it spread, spreads awareness um, on this issue and motivates consumers to recycle, recycle more effectively and participate in the recycling programs that governments offer to their uh, citizens. It also motivate, motivates consumers to seek more friendly alternatives to recycling like eco-friendly plastic bags that can benefit the, benefit the environment more and reduce landfills in the U.S. Some states, including Illinois, Minnesota, Oregon, and Texas, and other cities have started to incorporate comprehensive, comprehensive education programs in their recycling efforts. So solution three is to increase funding in our U.S. recycling centers just to get them as solid and as buff as the ones that China has cut the U.S. off from. And some pros of this solution is new innovations to these recycling centers and re the reduction of landfills in the U.S. But some cons slash limitations includes that there might be too much money wasted in the, in the buffering of these new recycling centers. Some implications also include they reduce the recycling problems with the new innovations that we have at our recycling centers. And for our conclusion, we've decided to go with solution two, uh, educate the consumers. This We chose this one because it has the most part participation the friendlier, friendliest of our alternatives of all the solutions. It's not very costly at all, and it is the easiest solution by far out of the three that we've chosen. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. That was very informative. I have a couple of questions for you, so we'll just go right down the line. So, Manny first. Uh, and please, all of you, be very detailed in your answers. Uh, so, Matt, describe how the content of the team presentation we just saw was changed as a result of the discussion you guys had. So, after we discussed what we had, we decided to simplify our slides a lot because we had, we were really just reading off of them mainly and using them as an outline rather than our actual script. So, we did we just decided to to simplify them so that we weren't doing that so much. Let's just move down the line. So Asher, uh, how did the group decide to include or exclude, uh, we'll say Gabe's uh, perspective or lens from the overall presentation? Uh, for solution one, uh, Gabe had the ban on plastic bags. So we decided that was a good solution because of the evidence he provided in his IRR. So we decided to use that in our presentation. Okay, good. Uh, reflecting on your colleagues' work, Gabe, which one of them had the greatest impact on your overall understanding of this problem? Who would you say uh, their work did? I, th I think Asher's had the most impact because he also he developed both like a lot of the solutions that we used, and for his lens, the political lens, uh, we were able to derive many solutions like the like the laws and regulations that governments have passed into our into our solutions that uh, that can solve the problem of recycling in the U.S. Okay, good. And then Teddy, uh, describe an argument from one of these guys' reports that made you think differently about your overall conclusion. You guys concluded solution two. Was there anybody in particular's work that influenced your decision to do that? Um, 
Well, I personally thought that solution one was the best with the full on ban of plastic or wooden plastic bags. But um, solution two was probably impacted the most from our group from Asher's presentation or from his IRR um, because he wrote the most about that one. Okay. Thanks, you guys.